Thank you so much for joining me for this Pilates practice. We're going to get started in a seated position. So meet me with your feet planted, hands behind your thighs. Sit up as tall as you can. On your next exhale, roll back so your arms are almost straight. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, roll back. So we're just warming up our abdominal muscles here a bit. Inhale up. Lengthen. Exhale, roll back. Last time, inhale up. This time, you're going to roll all the way down. For a bigger challenge, you're releasing your arms. And as you go down, your goal is not only to go as slowly as possible, so you're using muscle and not momentum, but it's also to keep your feet planted on the mat. Awesome. Once you get to the ground, find classical Pilates position, which simply means you're lying on your back, knees bent, feet planted. Bring your attention to your pelvis and roll back and forth in your pelvis a few times, noticing what's going on with your range of motion. Then keep yourself an imprinted pelvis, meaning if you had a bowl of water here, it's spilling towards your chest and staying. Your lower back is grounded. Zip up in your belly like you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans. Let's practice a few rib cage breaths, a few Pilates breaths here. So to do that, bring one hand on top of your belly, other hand around your rib cage. On your next inhale, try to expand your rib cage out to the side. Exhale, pull in like you're tightening a belt. Inhale, see if you can keep your belly button hand still. Exhale, tighten your imaginary belt. Keep going like that at your own pace. When I'm doing the Pilates breath, the rib cage breathing, I like to think about breathing into the back of my lungs. That helps me um, do that lateral breathing versus up and down breathing. So the whole point of this belly breath is to, tr or excuse me, this rib cage breath is to try to keep our belly, our abdominal muscles engaged. So always having our belly button pulling down instead of having it have to pop up on our inhales. So the rib cage breath allows us to have great breathing and great abdominal um, engagement and control at the same time. One more breath like this. Then stay in imprinted pelvis. We're going to get started here with our exercises. So we're beginning today in tabletop position. Drop your hands by your hips, shoulders pull down, and bring your shins parallel with the ground, knees right over your hips. Flex your toes gently, and make sure your lower back is staying grounded. So we're um, stabilizing in imprinted pelvis. Take a few rib cage breaths here, the side to side breathing. See how they feel in this position. Then if you want a bigger challenge, try dropping one heel down towards the ground, lightly tap and switch. As you go down, see if you can keep your lower back grounded, belly button glued to your spine. So if you're noticing either of those popping up, then make your range of motion with your leg a little smaller, so maybe you only drop halfway down instead of all the way down. Now, if you're still looking for a big challenge, bring one arm back, the opposite arm, as your leg goes down. So right now, my right leg is dropping left arm back. So the more limbs we get involved, and the bigger our movement with those limbs, the more challenging these Pilates exercises become because uh, those two factors makes it harder for our abdominal muscles to stabilize in our pelvic position. And that's what we want, we want stability. Now, if you wanna pick up the pace, if you can coordinate that and it works, go for it. Hang on for five, four, three, two. Awesome, pull your knees into your chest. Rock side to side, take a deep breath. Then from here, we're going right into bicycles. So plant your hands behind your head, flex your toes and start to push out. So we're reversing our bicycle movement to start. 
Belly button away from your thighs, lengthen out through your extended leg. So in other words, you're pushing through your heel. Hang on. The bigger and the faster your movement, the harder this one will be. Three, two, one, reverse. Really pull your knee into your chest now. And as you do that, feel your belly button zip. Breathing for this one can be long, slow, inhales and exhales, or inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, if you wanna move with, or if you wanna breathe with your movement. Three, two, excellent, and relax. Rock side to side. Let's give our abs a little break and shift our focus to the back side of our body, our hamstrings, glutes, and lower back by doing the bridge. So extend your arms up above your chest. Take an inhale to prep. On your exhale, peel your vertebrae up off the mat. Stay here if you can. So you're pushing your hip bones up towards the sky. You're pushing the big toe sides of your feet down towards the ground so that your inner thighs are really engaged and firing up. Shoulders away from your ears. Belly button zipping. Now it's your lucky day because we're going to add some pulses. So on your next inhale, pulse up. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, ten. Hold and squeeze. Awesome. One more set like that. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold and squeeze. One more full breath here. Lift and squeeze, you got it. And then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Awesome. Pull your knees into your chest. Wiggle your toes. Take a deep breath. From here, stack your hands just like we did before. Bring them behind your head. Extend your legs straight up. On your next exhale, pull your right knee into your chest. Left, let your left leg drop, hold. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left knee in, right leg drop. Up, switch. So if you want to, once you get the hang of this movement, you can start to pick up the pace. Biggest thing again though is stability. Are you keeping your lower back on the ground, belly button glued to your spine regardless of what your arms and legs are doing. Now you can continue like this, taking a break whenever you need to. If you'd like a bigger challenge though, then lift your head, and as you drop your knee towards your chest, turn your opposite elbow in. Elbow to knee. Good. Awesome. <sighs> Inhale up, exhale, drop and twist. Belly button to your spine. <sighs> Great job. Now as you twist, think about the lower half of your rib cage pulling across towards your bottom hip. So it's not just a twist with your elbows, but your entire torso is getting involved. <sighs> Hang on, one more set, you got this. Excellent. Relax. Wiggle your toes. Then from here, roll to your side. We're moving right into the side leg series. So line your hip, elbow, and shoulder up with the back of the mat. Then bring your feet forward to the top of your mat so you're in a pike position, kind of like a banana shape. Hips are stacked. Shoulder is down. This hand can be here for a little extra stability or behind you like this for more of a core challenge. We're beginning with up-down kick. So keep your hips stable, but try turning your kneecap up towards the sky. Then on your next inhale, point up. Exhale, flex and lengthen down. So just like we did with the bicycles, you want to lengthen out through your heel. Nice. Now keep your flex toe, 
flex up, point down. Strong inhale, strong exhale. Three more like this. You got it. Upper body stays nice and still. From here, we're moving into side passes. So keep your kneecap up. Drag up on an inhale, extend. Exhale, flex and lengthen down. Inhale, strong exhale. Reverse directions. Come up, bend, drag down, pull your shoulder with your foot. Inhale, big exhale, one more like this. Awesome, big circles, kneecap is forward. Legs are tip height. Inhale to come forward. Exhale back and around. So with big circles, it's imperative that you find a range of motion where you feel challenged but still in control. Control meaning nothing besides your top leg is moving. So we're all going to have different size circles with this one, reverse directions, depending on what we need day to day. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, tighten that imaginary belt, belly button to your spine. <sighs> Two more good ones. Awesome job. Then from here, small circles. So leg is hip height forward a bit. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Reverse. Really crisp movements. Five. And ten. Final exercise, the hot potato. Tap three times to the front. Exhale up. Tap three times to the back. Awesome. Keep going. Check in with your shoulder. Make sure it's not creeping up to your ear. Belly button is strong. And see if you can incorporate that rib cage breath here, inhaling through the back of your lungs, exhaling and contracting. Final one. Awesome. Bring your knee forward. Take a breath. Nice work. Now before we move out of this position, we're going to do a little work for the, our bottom leg, um, the inner thigh of our bottom leg. So bring your top leg up here. You just need a little space between your lower leg and your top leg. So if you need to bring your foot down because this hip is talking to you, that's fine. However, if it is possible for you to grab your ankle, do that. So you get a little stretch here in your hip as we work this leg. Once you've found your position, flex your bottom toes, turn them down towards the floor, lengthen out through your heel, inhale to prep, then exhale, lift up one, two, three times, inhale, lower down, exhale up, two, three, and down. Keep going like that. Your goal is not only to have slow, smooth movement on the way up and on the way down, so you're using muscle and not momentum, but also to have that movement be straight up and straight down, so you're really isolating your inner thighs versus relying on other muscle groups to get your leg lifted. If possible, hold it up and pulse. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Nice work. Whew. Come on down. Awesome job. Roll to your belly. Stack your hands, forehead down. Rest here for a sec. Before we move to the other side, we're going to work our upper back a bit doing T-straps. So squeeze your heels together to get your inner thighs involved um, to help protect your lower back. And bring your arms out to a T. Gaze down at your mat. Inhale to prep. Exhale, pull back. Thumbs point down, palms face each other. Inhale back to a T. Exhale, pull. Tops of your shoulders pull away from your ears towards your hips. Inhale, T. Exhale, pull. Shoulder blades towards each other. You've got one more. Make it good. 
belly button pulling up towards your spine. Awesome. Rest and relax. On an exhale, push your hips back towards your heels. Take a breather. Roll up. Switch sides. So get yourself all lined up with the back of the mat, meaning your hip, elbow, and shoulder are in one line. Feet forward. So you're in a pike position. If your neck gets sore, you can always use your arm as a pillow here instead of propping your head up. Check in. Make sure your hips are stacked. Belly button is zipping. Shoulder is down. Decide if you want to plant this hand in front of you or bring it behind you for a bigger core challenge. We're going to begin with the up-down kick. So kneecap towards the ceiling. Inhale, point up. Exhale, flex and lengthen down. Now we talked about range of motion with the big circles. And it's going to be the same with this one. You want to find a range of motion where you feel challenged but still in control. Keep your flex toe. Flex up. Point down. Lengthen through your heel. Lengthen through your toe. Inhale. Exhale. Two more good ones. Awesome. Side passes. Drag up. Extend. Exhale on the way down. Inhale. As you exhale, lengthen through your heel. One more. Reverse. Come up. Bend. Drag. Strong inhale. Strong exhale. One more good one. Big circles. So now our kneecap is forward. Leg starts at hip height. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, back and around. Good. Really get into your breath here. It's going to help. And see what's going on with your upper body. I have a tendency, especially with this one, to tighten up and my shoulders come to my ears. I have to really focus on relaxing. Reverse. And engaging here instead. So that's really what our whole Pilates practice is about, is can we retrain our body to relax in our shoulders, neck, face, and jaw, and support and engage in our abdominal muscles. Small circles, leg is hip height, forward a bit, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ten, reverse, five, ten, and hot potato. Here we go. Tap three times, exhale up. Inhale, two, three, strong exhale. Light, crisp taps when you're doing um, forward and back and strong lifts, keeping your upper body stable. Hang on, we've got two more sets. Face is relaxed, core is strong. Last one, make it your best one yet. Awesome. Oh, bring your knee forward. Take a breather. And just like we did on the other side, we are going to um, finish up this series with the inner thigh lifts. So when you're ready for them, decide on your position. Remember, your foot can be down by your other foot, or if it's available, you're grabbing your ankle, getting a little stretch here as we strengthen our lower leg. Once you've found your position, flex your toes, turn them down, lengthen out through your heel. Inhale to prep. Exhale, lift. Two, three, awesome. Inhale down, exhale up. Two, three, keep going. Smooth movements, straight up and straight down. So the reason we're breaking this up in three parts, up on three counts is because it forces you to use muscle to control it instead of throwing it up using momentum. One more time. Hold if you can, lengthen out and pulse. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, 
four, 10. Awesome. Roll to your stomach. Rest for a second. Then we've got one more round of T-straps to do. So squeeze your heels together. Belly button up towards your spine. Bring your arms up to a T. Inhale to prep. Exhale, pull back shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale, T. Exhale, pull. Two more good ones. Keep going. Move with your breath. Last one. Then rest. On your next exhale, push your hips back towards your heels. And we're gonna finish up this practice with a little plank work. We're gonna do pigeon planks. So with that being said, meet me in high plank with your shoulders right over your hands. Pointer fingers are going straight forward. That alignment helps protect your wrists. So you're up on your um, toes, belly button is pulling up. If this is challenging for you, you can stay here taking a break by dropping to your knees whenever you need to. Otherwise, if you want a bigger challenge, we're gonna add the pigeon movement. So on your next exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Inhale back to plank, exhale pull. Inhale plank, exhale pull. Keep going. Few more of these, this is it for this workout. So give it all you got. Shoulders away from your ears. Breath is strong. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, pull. Two more sets. You got it. <sighs> Last one. Awesome. Drop to your knees. Push back for a sec. Take a breath. Then roll up on your next inhale. Really great job. 